Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to understand about select statement in SQL. Now, before I go into the details of the actual table and explaining you about the select statement, I thought I'll come to the whiteboard and understand or explain select statement in plain English first so that you grasp this concept absolutely fine and you do not forget it at all okay so when we say select statement in sql this is very specific to sql but let's say if i just talk about the select word itself or the keyword right this is a plain english term selecting something out of some bucket or basket or tray for example you see on the screen so select in plain english if you understand english or you are from english speaking background you will be able to easily understand that you have to select something if the instruction has been given. So say for example, I am instructing you to select all the donuts from the tray, right? This is plain English statement that because you understand this statement, you understand the English language, you will be able to easily pick that up and you will be able to select all the donuts that are there on the tray and you will be able to send me the or give me the donuts that are there on the tray. So there are 20 donuts, right? And you will be able to return all the 20 donuts to me when I specify this term, right? So if I say select all donuts from tray, right? So all donuts is I'm looking for all donuts, absolutely plain English, right? select keyword is select all the donuts all donuts is what i'm looking for from where from the tray right this is the tray that i'm looking for there is a unique tray which contains all these donuts that is what I'm requesting from you in plain English right now if we want to convert this statement into SQL now SQL is structured query language very similar to plain English statements so it will be something like select star from tray okay now for all the items that you want to select from any of the table in SQL the wild card is star when we say star it means select all the items from the table so usually when we'll work with database and sql we'll be basically fetching the data from the tables right so we'll say select star from the table name okay so here table name is the unique identifier of the table from where we are fetching or where we want to fetch all the data right so similar to what tray is here to the donuts we'll be having the table name to the data so table name will be the unique identifier for the data that we want to fetch from the table right so this is brief connection about the sql with the plain english okay now if i say to you all right um, say for example your name is uh, tom uh, tom go ahead and uh, select all red donuts or red colored donuts from tray okay so i'll say select all red donuts okay so this is something i'm very specific that i want to get the red donuts from the tray okay so select all red donuts from tray okay so you know that there is one tray which has the name tray labeled as tray and you can see that there are red donuts there are four red donuts and you'll pick those four red donuts and i'll you will return me the results of the four red donuts so that will be four red donuts right so you will get that and give me those four red donuts right so something similar in sql what we are going to do is we'll say select star right because for all the wild card is star okay so select all from tray where okay so where is another clause or keyword that you want to specify for any specific value that you want to pick okay so select all from tray where color okay so color is equal to red right so we'll write something like this okay exact syntax i'll show you when i go to the computer but this will be something similar to what i have written it here okay i'm just trying to explain and correlate how similar sql is to the english language okay it is very close and just correlating how we are communicating at the moment with this particular example 
will be working with SQL statements with the actual table in absolutely similar form, right? So here we are saying select all the donuts. So star is select all donuts from tray where color is red. So four donuts will be written which are of the red color, okay? Now here tray is the unique identifier or the table, right? So if say for example, there is another table uh, or another tray, all right? And there are some donuts there as well. So you can say this is tray one, okay? So now here I'm instructing Tom to get all the red donuts from tray, okay? So Tom knows that he has to go and pick the red donuts from tray, which is unique identifier, or you can correlate it with the tables in database, right? So select all red donuts from tray, which is sort of a table in, in, in database, it will be a table. When I say tray one, then there are no red donuts, so there'll be, Tom won't be able to find any of the red donuts in tray one, so the result will be zero, or Tom will come back and say, there are no red donuts in tray one, okay? So this is brief about the select statement in SQL, in plain English, understanding the select statement. So selecting something or some items from the pile of objects, right? So in tray, there are some donuts. In basket, there could be balls. There could be another basket. There could be another tray. So fetching the items from the tray, from the basket is possible through the plain English when we say select something from those baskets or tray. In SQL, we use the same keyword select and then wildcard star to select all the items or depending on the values or specific value that we want to pick from the tables, we specify the where clause and specify what exactly we want to pick. All right, so this is briefly about the select statement. In the next tutorial, I'll jump onto the computer and I'll create the table or I'll work with the existing table that we have created and try to explain all about select statement and different options of fetching the values from the database table. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and clear. Thank you very much for watching.